What's going on you guys? My name is Andy and today we are going to be talking about the Sony A1 and how I feel about it after two weeks. If you guys are new to this channel, my name is Andy and in here we talk about photography, videography, how-to videos, and unboxing. I love unboxing. If you do like those contents, make sure you hit that subscribe button. All right, let's be completely honest. I've had this a little bit more than two weeks, but if I were to tell you guys how much I've used this camera, I probably use it for a little bit more than a week worth. That's only because I've been so busy with my business and I just don't really have time to go out and shoot. Doesn't mean I don't want to, just I really, really just didn't have time. I'd love to though. Would love to. For those who doesn't know about this camera, this is the Sony A1. This camera starts at $6,500. The reason why I said it starts at $6,500 is because some places you don't have to pay tax, so it doesn't add up too much. But if you do have to pay tax, this is about $7,000. Whew, that is a lot of money. It shoots amazing photos. It shoots amazing videos. The buttons are amazing. The battery, the autofocus, I can go on forever. But this, I would say is the best Sony camera out right now. It's not meant for vlogging, okay? I mean, you kind of can put it on a tripod and record yourself with an external monitor, but it's not meant for a camera where you go around and vlog with it. I've tried, and if you guys haven't seen that video, it's right there. Okay, I've tried it, it's just, it's just too hard. You can't see yourself and it's too expensive to be leaving it at places where you might drop it. Because with vlogging, you're trying to just tell the story and for this, if you're just putting it somewhere and you accidentally knock it over, it's a nightmare. So definitely not a vlogging camera. For something like that, get something cheaper. First, I wanna start with the things that I like about this camera and then I'll go with the things that I don't like about the camera. This is the first thing I like about this camera. It's a dial. I really enjoy this dial right here. The fact that you can switch drive speed, that means you don't have to set it to one of these custom buttons. And then you can also switch from manual focus, autofocus, and then autofocus continuous. It's so easy that's all right here. You can even switch to bracket or self timer. All this button is just right here in this dial. The next thing that I have to tell you that I like is the viewfinder. 240 frames, whoa right when you're looking through this it's moving so smoothly so there's no it doesn't feel like there's a lag you know in some viewfinder it feels like you're looking at a tv this it actually doesn't it almost feels like you're looking at real life maybe slightly better or smoother Ooh, so good i love it i love looking through the viewfinder and always trying to find an excuse to look through it even though the sony is amazing as just their monitor using the monitor to shoot pictures but the viewfinder I love using a viewfinder and the fact that this one has a good one, I love it. I've always said how much I love Canon's touchscreen and I wish that Sony has it. Well, this isn't the first camera that Sony has its touchscreen on, but man, it is working so good now. Before, pinching and zooming, touching the menu, those things didn't even exist. Now, it works so nicely. 30 frames per second. 30 frames per second on the shutter speed. If you guys haven't heard about the 30 frame per second yet, I'm about to change your life. Man, I don't even know how many shot it took, but I'm telling you right now, it's not even like the fastest it goes. It actually goes even faster than that, right? Which is crazy, isn't it? Let me show you. Listen to how crazy this is. I think I just shot like 80 pictures. That's, it says 60, but I had to let go or else it's gonna fill up my memory card and it, it's cleared already. That's how crazy it is. It cleared the thing, look, listen. It sounds like a machine gun. <laughs> Two slots for CF Express card type A. Two slots and it double as SD cards. If you guys haven't tried it yet, 240p. Ooh, man, that is slow motion. Where you're recording like raindrops, rainfalls, someone splashing water, 240. Ooh, that is, you can slow that down it's so slow and it looks so nice. Those shots are so fun to do, especially if it's an action shot. You can see the whole thing happening in slow motion. 
there are just a lot of things that I really like about this camera. Now, let's go to the bad. The biggest flaw is that this camera is $6,500. That's a lot of money. And that's not including the memory card, that's not including the lens, that's just the camera body. Can't even use it yet. $6,500, just think about that for a second. For being a very expensive camera, it comes with other flaws. You're afraid to drop it. You're afraid you're holding it like for your dear life because you're not free with it. Dropping this thing is going to be painful. It's gonna hurt. So whenever I use this, you know that I'm really, really careful with this. I don't want to drop this thing at all. I'm honestly, I have a strap around my wrist that hangs onto the camera just in case I drop it. Something like that is just like you have to always think about it, which is too careful. You're not as free as you can be. So that comes with that $6,500 price tag. I'm also really afraid of where I put this camera, where I bring this camera. So if I'm bringing it in, I'm thinking, man, that place might be a little bit bad. If I bring this camera out, is someone going to jack it? and things like that. It's just, your mind is constantly thinking about all these bad things that can happen. And it's just really scary. You don't feel as free to use this camera. And I wish it has a flip out screen, but the fact that it doesn't, it's not a deal breaker. Like I said, it's not a vlogging camera. So a flip out screen wouldn't really be a big thing. I can use an external monitor, which is just fine. And that's it. <laughs> That's all the flaws I have about this camera. This camera is so amazing and I loved everything thing about this camera. I keep finding excuse to use it. And I don't really have anything bad about it right now. Well, this to me is the perfect camera. But with this perfect camera comes a very expensive price. That's it. Let me know what you guys think about this camera. Let me know if you guys have any questions. My name is Andy and I'll catch you guys in the next video. But before I go, make sure you hit that like button and hit that subscribe button while you're at it too. Catch you guys in the next one. Later.